Hey stampers, again we go and I'm checking because I did a card the other day and I filmed it all as I thought, come to press stop record and again it said start and I got none of it on camera and I was only going to do one card but then I thought oh no I'll turn that into Frankie's birthday card ready for Jude and then the other one we'll do for Lola so I'm checking, <laughs> we're still recording and I dug this beautiful triple easel card for Frankie uh, it fits in a 5 by 7 envelope, but because I've got these shells on there, um, I am going to make a little box, probably about an inch and a half deep. So I'll, I'll come back when I've got the box uh, decorated. So yeah, I think about an inch, maybe inch and a half would be perfect. And I've done a, a triple easel card before, but I just wanted to make it fun. I wanted to make... Um, Frankie loves anything like me under the sea and stuff like that. And not only that, I wanted to use this paper up before it retires in June. So, yeah, well, let me stretch this out just to show. This is... Oh, this one's actually longer. I've done something wrong here somewhere. Oh, no, this one doesn't done. So this is nine inches. Ah. Lena needs to go... Uh, well, I went an inch and a half there. No, an inch and a quarter on that one. And I went inch and three quarters on that one. Supposed to be inch one inch each one. So five, six. Ah, I know what I've done. I've only gone in an inch. I needed to put them in so there was only an inch sticking out. So that's why it's longer than it should be. So that's, we'll fit in a nine by five gift box perfect but how cute is that so you'll get to see every stage with the little shells that i put on the little bow and the little seashells there with the designer series paper and the whale with the little gem for his eye and that beautiful shell there keeping that last card open and i used my punch where's it gone da, 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 da. i'll put it back i used my postage stamp and I just chopped it off and then went back in and chopped the other bit off so it gave me that postage look as well but I think that is mega super cute and he's gonna love it so uh, what I'll do I'll give you the measurements first and there are the measurements don't look at the box measurements because now I realized uh, that it's not long enough so but there are the measurements you'll need a 5 by 10 score at 5 uh, two and a half and five and then the four by eight is two and four and the three by six is one and a half and three and then you need a three by three four by four five by five and there your layers and dsp and then you'll need extra bits then for and i'll do this one right this one's going to be for lola so let me put that up there i've got them ha added my layers already um I've added my layers already because I'm, I'm using this paper from the authentic range. So there's my five by fives. These are my four by fours. And this is for my three by threes. So cute papers. I think she will love it. I've, done, I've just tested this out. I haven't stamped on it yet to make sure that you can see, which you can, with my two heart punches. So there'll be a fair few hearts going on. I might even get some acetate out and do some dangly ones, maybe. So I've got that for spare. You are going to need, like I say, your card stuck as well. And I'm using the thinner stuff. So when the layers go on, I'll have that flexibility for the sturdy part. So I need those separate. We need our scoreboard. And like, so simple to make. We've all made an easel card. Well, this is just making three on top. So this is my 10 by five, and I'm gonna score this at two and a half and five. And then only a light, gentle uh, scoring. And then this can score again.
because this paper's so thin, you can actually just score it once or just fold and fold. And that's where we get that easel bit from. That's where we get that easel stand from. So the four uh, by eight is two and four. I'm just making sure my sides come together. So when I made the very first one, oh, about, I think it was either last year or the year before. And one and a half and three. And that's all the scoring we do. sent one in for a competition didn't I off a magazine do you remember that but uh, didn't win even though it was absolutely stunning and I thought it was better than some of the ladies in the catalog I'm not being rude but some of the ladies that did win were quite plain looking their cards and I'd sent in some fabulous stuff 3d projects everything so but I wasn't the judge there we go so there's our and now we glue these on to our end perfectly so we're only going to glue that bottom section you could add these now if you wanted to i'm going to add my love arts on there give me myself a tiny little border all the way around love 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 and it strengthens the thinness of the card so well, let's do both at the same time I can do it better, see, when they're off the card at the moment. So let's get that on. Perfect. This one then is going on the, the format there. But I know Lola, uh, Lola will, she loves anything pink and glittery, so she's a girl, so. And again, nice small border. Perfect. And now I can decide which way I want my arrows. It doesn't really make any odds because they're going in both ways. So only just put your adhesive on this section. And then line that up at the very bottom. Hence the using glue. That way it gives me wiggle space. And it gets to burnish the the easel part yet again isn't that just adorable and cute i love cute cards they're so cute so this is our four by four and again i'm having this on the top check i'm still doing it So, yeah, these are authentic papers. Um, the gorgeous, gorgeous um, Cheryl Adams from the USA sent me a load of papers, remember? And these, I thought, were perfect with the... Oh, you know the ones from Stamping Up with the Love Arts and that they had out last? Celebration, a mini catalogue with the hearts punches and that. So I thought this would look perfect with that and it was so kind of Cheryl to send them to me <coughs> all from the USA wow I was blown away with a wonderful gift so again we're just going to put plenty of glue on there making sure my love art's the right way up You've got a tiny little bit of wiggle space with uh, your glue. Isn't that cute? I mean, that one's standing on there. Oh, it's going to be lovely. So I'm going to have these poking out one inch. That way it would fit then in a, uh, a 5 by 7 envelope. If you hadn't got any extra dimensionals. You could have a few, but like with the shell definitely gonna have to be in a box for Frankie 
And these I thought were brilliant. Is every piece of paper through the whole collection cut up as uh, scraps, and I think that is brilliant. Because you didn't want to see me stick every last little piece of paper down. So isn't that beautiful? And then a gorgeous love art. So they're going on the bottom of here. I mean, you could take it up a notch, add the birthday card, do a six by 12, and have four triple, you know, a quadruple easel card. You could just do two, maybe coming on the side as a slant, you know, there's all, so many different uh, ways to do an easel card. And when my gorgeous friend Cheryl sent me those papers, she sent me an easel card. Isn't that beautiful? That beautiful flower on there to hold that wedge absolutely beautiful and it's always on my desk because i love it and i love her and then again just and i use the stamp set uh, a grand kid Oh, you could have the stripes going down you could, because they've got little arrows on you could have them that way I'm thinking let's do it sideways just skip that down turn that over just while we adhere that down and there that is absolutely whoops don't fall over now I'll just reinverse that obviously he's going to have this card sitting on there and it's going to stick out an inch and then this one's going to be on there and this is going to stick out an inch and to do that just need a piece of grid paper which i've got in my scraps drawer there we have it. Let's glue these into place now. So, I am going to put that on there. And then I'm going to line that up at that first mark. And then I'm going to put this bottom two, half an inch in, half an inch in, and on that next line there. So, roughly, I know where to glue. Again, line this up. And I could even line it up there. And then this can come in two up and right along that line. Perfect. Beautiful. So now that's going to stand up to that one. Perfect. And now we need this one. We're going to pop that on there. And like this one, we're going to grab that one. And we're going to make that stick out one inch and two up from there. So they all have an inch or so and the two squares in and they keep us guided as well. Perfect. So I know I've got that first inch. Let's just flatten them down a minute. Whilst I, I've got that much space there and I can glue all this. And again, we want to fold that over, pop that there, pop that two in, and back along that line and make sure it's, give that a good burn down there. 
don't let it ooze out the side like me. Fold that over. Give that all a good rub. And then we've got our triple easel card. Absolutely love it. Now that love art I had here, I can stamp something really pretty on that. And maybe, oh, that's too big for there, but I'll probably have, you know, like on the corners and sentiments on the corners or in the center, you know, but now this should measure five by seven because the top card is five and the long card is seven. Hi, and you get there in the end, but how sweet. And the stamp set I'm going to use for Lola's. I'm going to use this Hey Girlfriend. And I'm going to probably use these three ladies. One for each card. Like I say, we have the balloon. So we're going to do some colouring. Some die cutting. Fussy cutting even. And I've also got the dress to impress. Because it cuts out the perfume, the lipstick, the shim and the flower and also a handbag if I wanted it to. You've got buttons there, tags, the lipsticks there, like I'm saying, uh, the flower, the perfume. In fact, there's two flowers. There's um, one for sentiments and there's the shoe as well. So I might use that as well. And like I say, you've got there to an extraordinary granddaughter so I'm going to be using that one for definite so let's get that lined up right there and then this one you are so loved I'm gonna have that one as well this is the first time I've used this stamp set uh, granddaughter 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 can't find it there to an extraordinary granddaughter absolutely spot on let's get some stamping up papers I've got all these as spares these are all scrap pieces um, I'm going to have that granddaughter on there I think I would have liked to regret that actually I'm going to use the same punch on Lola's and I'm going to do hers in magenta madness because it's nice and bright and pink and no even though it's wonky don't worry about that because as I'm cutting die cutting using the punch definitely let me go there on this one. Oh, I've got to make sure this one's straight so let me turn that word around and line that up so I know I'm straight and that can go oh that's perfect Perfect. So that's for the magenta madness. I'm going to be using more things. So let me just show you what I did with the same as Frankie's. I put that in. that straight punch that out and then you can put that back in Let's see 
crumbs. I need to post it now, that's what it is. Oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a diamond. Rapid. Thank you so much. Cheers for that. Thank you. Tomorrow than egg off. Okay. Love you too. So, use the post-it note. That way I can hold it straight. I'll try my best to get it in. Right, so I'm going to go down to the letters. Punch that little bit out, see what it looks like. Oh, I've missed the end. Look at that. Let me do that again. I'll do it again. That's a, a poor it one. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> I have nuts on me. So that one's okay. Right, let's get this one. It's a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can swap and have the words straight as well this time. Oops. Clip every trip, and it fit that way. Uh, let's do it like this. Better, much better. Right now we can put this through here. Punch that out. Then use my post-it note. So put it back in. Ah, missed that corner bit again, but it doesn't matter. Say that and do it straight and do it right. That's got it. Yay, there we go, a little bit better. And then I can just pop that on dimensionals. So post it note to the rescue. A little bit creepy there at the bottom there. Oh, let me just do that again. That's better. You get my drift. So that's what I did with the postage stamp. That's on the slant now as well. Oh my goodness, Gainer. Oh, I'll do that after. Right, when I've got a bit more time. We shall do that again. In fact, I'm, I'm determined now. Right. Post it now. That can go back in. Post it now. Oh. <laughs> it won't come out now. What a thing to get trapped. Oh my goodness, this is just, there we go. <laughs> right, sticky bit. Down there, right. Slide this back in. Right, 
Right, I have got two now. I've got one for another time and one for this time. We'll get there in the end. So I shall stamp that out uh, in a moment. Right, glue needs to be put away while we get some decorating. De have I got a balloon? I've got a, I'm sure I've got a balloon punch somewhere. And a bow punch. Oh, coffee gainer. Mm. Lovely. Right. I don't want to lose that. Pop that to one side for a bit. Let's do some stamping. Let's do some colouring. Let's do some... Pop that on my glue bottle just so I don't forget it. Okay, do right hands free again. Come away with you. Uh, I'm going to pop that on dimensionals as well to go on there. Perfect. Do that now, actually, before I forget. Yeah, I went to the doctors again today. They said I have also suffering. I don't, I, the list is endless. Like, I'm like a shopping list with diverticulitis. Irritable bowel syndrome. Something else and something else. I was like flipping it. Just keep piling it on me. You know, I can take it. Not. Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? So that's for love as well. Right, ladies, come on. I, need to it. I might only have a chance to do... Oh, look at that. That's cute. Let's uh, do that one. Because we're running out of time and space. She's so cute. I don't worry about the smudge because I'm going to cut it out anyway. So that's that one. Let's do the perfume, the shoe and the lipstick because she likes all three. These can be die cut out because I've got the dies for them. Perfect. Shut till you drop. Oh yeah, she would. When she was down last September, we took her shopping. Oh, sixty pound for a jumper. Sixty pound. Oh, but she stands there giving me those puppy dog eyes, so I couldn't resist. Favorite restaurant, sixty quid again. Favourite sweet shop, 40 quid. Do these kids have us old for a barrel? <laughs> there we go, it says battery low. So let me come back. The battery change quickly. There goes my wire dropping down. There we go, put this on charge. That was a uh, quick recovery. Um, I don't think I've got... I might have a balloon punch somewhere, but I don't know where... I'm not sure where it is at the moment. I think I might have put it in my retired... Uh, with my retired stuff, so... Right, that's the stamping done. Again, I shut your mouth now and get colour in. Perfect. We need the shoe, the lipstick, and the perfume out. So they can go over there. Da, 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 da. Just a spare piece of cardstock. So are these. Unless we come out with some more. Right. Magenta Madness lipstick. Do you want me to zoom you in? This is the oh, so I 
<laughs> Lovely lipstick. And I'm going to do that tube round there. So when the lid's on, well, which we'll never see, uh, it will look like just a little bit of shading. Perfect. And I might do her little dress or a headband as well in these. So as long as you can see. So cute. Yeah, it's the first time I've used this one as well. And I'm gonna try and use as many as I can before they retire in June. So cute. Sorry, I'm deep thought concentration here. So that's a bra bra skirt. Bra bra skirt. Oh, crikey. I remember the 80s girls. I'm just going over the crease line and underneath the rim because that's where the shadow would be. And some little pink shoes to match her skirt. Perfect. And her lips. Oh, now I'm going to have to use a small end for this. Where are my other glasses, actually? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Well, Gina needs to concentrate. Perfect. Woohoo! Thing is, we should have done the red last. Gina needs skin tone colours now. What is this? It's pale dark. Let me just see. This is dark pe pe uh, petal pink. So cute. I chose this little girl with the glasses on because Lola wears glasses. Just going back under there to darken them because that's where the shadow would be under there, under her chin, and around her hairline. That is awesome. Right, what color will they have the hair? Oh, too dark. Whoa, I can't see. I'm still recording. <laughs> so let's go for a yellow. Oh, look at the tip on that. It's terrible. Let's 
I've got to give my granddaughter blonde hair because she's blonde. And same colour at the top. Perfect. Now some shading. cute as bell oh my goodness that is so cute right so that little lady's done so let's do this beautiful lipstick case also in yellow perfect hmm, let's, let's say we do this liquid is I think they'll keep this pink and yellow theme going perfect let's just darken that up uh, lighten that up should I say Lovely, lovely, and I might use this one now to fill in. Perfume bottle. I always think this pink looks dirty. <laughs> Dirty pink. Right, I'm going to go back in with the shoe now then because I've got to keep that dark and light. is indeed covered. So I'm going to grab my black. Just do the inside that a little bit there. Black heel. Perfect. I'm a bit shading now on the ship and that should be done. And I'm just going to follow that line. Around there like that. Woohoo! And that's cute. Cute, 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 cute. So, let's... Let's get to cutting some of these out now. Grab my tape, keep it on in place. Oh, mind you, I'll do it on this mat should stay in place. <laughs> it 
if I'm careful. Those three, thank goodness for that, all in one go. She loves makeup, she loves perfume, she's a girl, she's blonde, she wears glasses, she's gorgeous, she's my grandbaby. Let's turn these over and get dimensionals on them. the reason I use them ones. Perfect. Now we just need to cut this gorgeous little girl out. Sorry, let me zoom back out. Gets carried away myself. Getting quite used to this bossy cutting now. Not that I don't prefer a die, because I do. Let it dry out. And then we can oh, that cute. Look at that. Pop it around in dimensionals. We could, I could fart around and try and get in there with the uh, trying to cut in between the legs and stuff, but I don't have the patience for that. sure I don't. Perfect. So let's grab our card and start assembling our beautiful pieces. So I'm thinking of having the shoe on the bottom. So let's grab another dimensional just to be on the safe side. So that's got its wedge there. And then I'm going to put this one as well on dimensionals. And this is going to center that in the center there saying, You are so loved. Perfect. And then we're going to have our snazzy girl in that top corner. And I can get the backings off. And 
I'm going to have the perfume bottle next door and the lipstick is going on this one. for some gems. Oh my goodness. We're going great gems. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness, I forgot them. Oh, she's got a cat. Oh my goodness. I've got to do that little cat. There it is as well. This don't take me long at all. She loves her cat. And she loves my dogs as well, so I can't blame her. She's the animal lover like a nana. And I'll put the kitty cat on the front, I think. She'd be like, Nanny, you've really, really, really gone to town on my cart, and I love it. She keeps things like this. So she's just so into keeping a, a memory box, as she calls it. Right, I'll put that away in a minute. Um, right, let's get that cute little Kit Kat, and I'm going to do cinnamon cider. Is that the pale one? Yeah. So it's like teach legs <laughs> when they come down. Uh, I'm going to do the flower pink as well. I'm going to go for the dark one. Just get my other glass in because it's so tiny and small. Perfect, and a yellow center. Oh. Perfect. And what I might do with this is use a one inch circle punch. And is there anything else in there I can use? Uh, I've got some spots sit down there. Spots and dots, my love. Spots and dots. Just to fill in the gaps. Because the kitty's on one side. Perfect. That's so cute. So darn cute. That needs to be lens now. So I'm going to pop that on a dimensional as well. That can uh, so right next to a kitty cat down there on the bottom. Oh my goodness she's going to love it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And her shoe. I love it. What do you reckon girls? Oh, I think it's so mega cute. We need gems. We need gems and plenty of them. Uh, right, let's see what I've got. Oh, I've got some iridescent pearls here. And I've got so much stuff on my desk, it's unreal. So let's do one on the hearts, who are so loved. I might put one either side, actually. 
stakes you can see the stems out and then I'm going to do one two three on there have one two and three on there and one two three on there as well so that's one layer that's the other layer and that's the other layer I might put a little sentiment down there I don't know yet so but there we go and I've stayed on record yay all the way through <laughs> so I hope you like it I hope you give me a thumbs up and a share you please got to share most importantly share it on your platform share it on your Facebook any groups you go in if they allow you to just share 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 and the more people that share it the more people that will come to view and Facebook will put it forward for everyone to view it so yay and here's the one I did for Frank Steeman they're just so beautiful and colorful I love them both so much and I'm so good I'm so grateful to be able to do this for my grandkids you know not many people say you can you know make a card Lola loves the albums I make she loves the cards I make she loves it all bless her little soul and she just loves to receive them so she is one little grateful child who I love so much and I can put this back in there with the spotty dots spotty dots there we go thank you for watching until next time love to you all bye